everyone, and welcome to the XD Daily Creative Challenge. Um, as always, I'm so excited to be here live in the Adobe Studios and in beautiful San Francisco. It's a really lovely morning today. So let's see who's joining us today in the Behance chat. Hi, Nicholas, Alexander, Jack, Paul, Eric, Alex. So nice to see you guys again. All right. So today is day number seven in the XD Daily Creative Challenge. Um, but before I get into that, I just wanted to quickly give you an overview of what the XD Daily Creative Challenge is and the different ways you can participate, just in case this is your first time tuning in. So the XD Daily Creative Challenge is essentially a really great way for you to practice UI design and prototyping right in Adobe XD. So whether you're a beginner, maybe you're a graphic designer looking to transition into UI design, Whatever the case, it's just a really great way for you to practice, and you'll also have some nice pieces to add to your portfolio. So in addition to tuning into the show um, every day this week, uh, Monday to Friday from 8.30 to 9 a.m. Pacific time, there's also a Slack channel that you can join. So if you follow the URL that's floating above my head right now, um, be sure to sign up for a Slack channel, and I'm just gonna quickly jump on over to my computer screen just to give you a tour of our Slack channel. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do when you first join is of course, introduce yourself. So this is under the introduc introductions channel. So uh, tell us your first name, where you're from. There's people all over the world who's joining us for the challenge. Under the announcements channel is where we post the daily challenge. So um, every day at 8 a.m. Pacific time, the challenge is posted in addition to a downloadable XD uh, file that includes a template. That way you can uh, design along with me. Um, under the design feedback channel, of course, that's where you're gonna uh, post your designs and get some very valuable feedback. Everyone is super friendly. Um, so I definitely encourage you to post your design there and also give feedback to one another. And finally, under the Help General channel, if you have a more technical question, uh, maybe relating to a feature in XD, uh, be sure to post it under the Help General channel. So that's just a quick overview of our Slack channel. Um, for this challenge, I also encourage you to upload your work to Behance. And for this challenge, we're using the keyword XD Daily Challenge. So just before you publish your project, be sure to hit the Discoverability tab and use the keyword XD Daily Challenge. That way everyone in the challenge can um, you know, see your work. And I also like to feature some really great work live on the show. So definitely use the keyword XD Daily Challenge. Okay, and finally, Adobe XD is free. So um, if for some reason you're tuning in and you, do, and you don't have Adobe XD, be sure to download it. It works on you know, a Mac or PC computer. So that's just a quick overview of the XD Daily Creative Challenge and the different ways you can participate. So let's jump in to day number seven. So I'm going to head on over to my um, XD file and for day number seven, we will be prototyping a desktop experience to rent a movie, which is inspired by iTunes. So as you can see, here's our template. We have two artboards. Um, and of course, on the left-hand side, we have a section where you can get inspired. And um, I've included some screenshots of iTunes. And as you can see, uh, there's a nice featured area where the featured movies or I guess new releases are. And below there's just um, the new and noteworthy movies and all the movie covers. And below that, we have a single movie page and it all the photo that they're using at the top in the featured area, um, there's colors that are, have been pulled and it's just creating a really nice theme based on um, the movie image. And below, we have some suggested color schemes. So definitely be creative and you know, feel free to uh, pick any color you like or you know, I'll show you later on and how you can you know, pick colors from a photo. But we have some suggested colors here. And finally, we have some additional resources. Okay, so um, as I mentioned earlier, here are, here are our two artboards. Um, so in this top section in the template, we have um, where we're gonna put our featured image of the movie that we're selecting. Below we have a movie genres area. So um, this can turn into a really nice repeat grid. You can just select it, press Command R, and drag out a few more of this element. And then you can also hover in between add some padding, and then you can create a nice movie genre section. 
And of course, below we have um, the additional movies that we're gonna feature. So I'm just gonna head on over to what I already kind of came up with. So let me know in the Behance chat if you've watched any Avenger movie, because this is the movie that we're gonna um, feature for now on this artboard. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can um, easily use the repeat grid to create the um, new and noteworthy section found on iTunes, just how to recreate that. So as you can see, it is in a repeat grid, but let me just quickly show you. So again, you could just select this, press Command R to turn it, activate the repeat grid. And then I'm just going to draw out five movies. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'm just gonna hover in between this spacing here and add some more padding. I think 50 is a good amount. So I'm just gonna grab the green handlebar below and I'm going to draw that out so I have two rows. And I'm going to add some more padding at the top. There we go. So um, I already have some movie covers that I'm going to um, add to the, or to populate the repeat grid because it's essentially just um, a bunch of images. So all I did is I just went on Google and I typed in movie covers, hit images, and then you can get a bunch of um, images of movie covers. So I'm just gonna grab them in a folder that I created. And I'm just going to select them all. drag and drop them, and voila, we have our movie covers. So I'm just going to delete this image icon. And of course, um, once you have all your movie covers, you can always go in and um, update all the movie titles. Okay, so um, I'm just gonna quickly show you how you can um, Let's say you want to feature um, a movie and you want to remove the background and um, include, I guess, this really nice gradient that is a color pulled from one of the colors within the image. I'm just going to quickly show you how you can do that. So right now I am going to feature an image, or I'm going to make Deadpool 2 my, Deadpool 2 my featured image. So I have a really nice Deadpool tool two, I keep on saying tool, Deadpool, Deadpool 2 image that I got from Google. So I'm just gonna press Command Shift L and it's in my Creative Cloud library. So I wanna edit this in Photoshop. So I'm just going to right click on the image and press edit. And it brings me into Photoshop. So now that I'm in Photoshop, um, I definitely want to remove the white background. And this might look a little challenging, especially since um, she's wearing a really, or sporting a really cool afro, um, but it's gonna be pretty challenging to remove the white background from her hair, but I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy way to do that. So all you need to do is, in the top menu bar here, just press select, and then click subject. And now Photoshop is automatically um, finding the subject to select and it did a really nice job selecting the characters. So I have the rectangular uh, marquee tool selected, so I'm just going to press select and mask. So now we're in the selecting mask view. So again, we want to make sure that um, the white around her hair is removed. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the second brush in the toolbar here, and it's the Refine Edge Brush Tool. So I'm going to zoom in. So I have a clear view, and I'm going to just draw on her hair. And hopefully you can see this, but it's actually removing the white from her hair, but it's still keeping her hair, which is really cool. So if you ever have a photo of someone, especially someone with curly hair, it's usually kind of hard to remove the background from that, but this is just a really cool tool that you can use to do that. So I'm 
just removing the white background. Okay, so looks like we're done. Let me just quickly check. I think there's some more here that I can remove. There we go. All right, so also it looks like the weapon here is being highlighted, a part of it, and we don't want to remove that, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, select the quick selection tool and I'm just going to click that and then it automatically um, removes it from the removal, I guess, color. So let me just make sure everywhere else in the photo is good. Looks like this area needs to be, oops. So I'm just gonna hit Alt on my keyboard um, to get the subtract tools. Let me just fix that area really quickly. And if you wanna um, make your brush larger, you can just hit the right bracket on your keyboard. And if you wanna make it smaller, you can just hit the left bracket. So now that our photo, let me just edit this area right here really quickly. Okay, so now that our photo, the background is removed and everything, I'm just going to go to output. And where it says output two, I'm going to select new layer with layer mask. And I'm gonna hit okay. And there we go, our photo is now a new layer with a layer mask. So to get this into Adobe XD, I'm just going to select the layer and I'm gonna drag and drop it into the library. So now back to our XD. So in the library, our updated photo is now there. So all I need to do is I'm just gonna hit R on my keyboard to draw a rectangle. and I'm gonna drag and drop the image like so. And right now it's kind of being cut off by the rectangle that I drew, so all you need to do is just double click so you can um, grab the actual image and then resize it. So there's a border, so let's remove that from the rectangle. And I also want to increase it, its size. So just going to make it a little bigger. There we go. So we have a really nice featured movie with our Deadpool characters. Um, so just really quickly, I want to show you how we can grab some colors from this photo to create, um, I guess, a similar theme as our Avengers um, featured area. So um, right now we have this silver gradient, um, which is really nice. It looks good, but let's see if we could create a different theme. So I'm just going to select this um, gradient, which is in the colors area in the assets panel. 
So I'm just going to right click on it and I'm going to select edit. And as you can see, as I move around, it's updating the background because this is what we're using um, as the background here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool. And again, this is a linear gradient and you can you know, change it to a solid color if you'd like or a radial gradient, but I'm going to keep it as a linear gradient. I'm going to select the eyedropper, eyedropper tool. And I'm also going to select this first point in the gradient. And this is our top part of our gradient. So I'm just going to select the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to grab this area on the image. So now it's updated. So I'm going to select the right, I guess, um, the right dot here in the linear gradient um, area. I'm going to grab the eyedropper tool. And I'm going to grab, let's see what this red would look like. Mm, that looks good. Let's see what this one will look like. Mm. Here we go. So now we have a more red theme for our Deadpool um, featured movie area. And we've also, you know, removed the background from our character image to kind of create this really nice um, featured movie area in our rent -a movie app. So um, that's just how we create that. And I also showed you how to, um, how you can update colors globally. So again, if you have an object with a color in the assets panel and you want to change the color of all those objects, um, wherever it is on your artboard, all you need to do is just press or right click on the, the color, press edit, and then it'll edit it um, globally. So that's just a really cool feature in Adobe XD. Okay, so um, I guess really quickly, I'm just gonna go over the single movie screen. So in order to create this um, single movie screen, I'm just going to duplicate this artboard just to quickly show you how you can do this for Deadpool. So let me just remove this. So I'm going to press Command D to duplicate the image. And then I'm going to shrink it down like so. And again, just to apply this um, color to the single movie screen, all you need to do is select the artboard and then you can select the color in the assets panel. And let's say I wanted to change the color theme for both. Let me right click, press edit. And as you can see, they're both being updated. So again, this is just really cool and this is very efficient because you know it saves you time instead of having to go into each object and updating the color individually. So this is just a really great feature. So let me undo that. All right, so of course I'm going to go into the design um, and, you know, refine everything, update it to say Deadpool, of course. Um, but I hope you got some really great tips and tricks from today's challenge. And I'm very excited to see what you have in the Sock channel. But before I do that, I just want to uh, take a look at some of your work on Behance. So let me switch on over to Behance. All right, so we have a day four uh, project from Seoul. And she created this really, really nice weather app UI. This is so nice. I love the colors that you use. 
Let me see. Okay, so this screen, you can choose what city you're in and it already has the temperature. And then this is really great. And I liked how you use the pen tool to create the waves. That's really nice. Oh, here's a prototype. This is a GIF. So it switches the screen. Great job, Soul. This is really nice. Let me appreciate that. Really great. Okay, so it looks like we have um, a little bit of time, so I'm just gonna quickly show you how to um, export your designs into your Behance project. So really quickly, all you need to do is select the artboard and go to File, Export, Selected. And I'm just going to export it as a PNG and for design. Gonna head on over to my Behance project. And I'm gonna select this um, upload icon. And I'm just going to open that. And now we have our Rent-A-Movie screen on our project. All right. So again, thank you so much for tuning in to day number seven of the challenge. Um, again, I hope you learned some really cool tips and tricks in Adobe XD. Um, again, I'll be over in the Slack channel after the show, and I can't wait to see your work there and also on Behance. Again, be sure to use the keyword XD Daily Challenge before you publish your project. And let's take a quick look at the schedule for today. So we have a full day of hand lettering. So at 9 a.m. we'll be uh, doing some lettering with Anna and then at 10.30 with Ryan. Um, at 12 we'll be with Mark and at 1.30 we will do some more um, lettering with Cindy, which is gonna be really exciting. So be sure to stay tuned for this or for today because it's gonna be a full day of lettering. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Bye.